Hi, I'm James, a lead CG lighter for TAP. Today we're going to break down the basics of 3D lighting and the kind of choices that go into lighting an animated scene. Now my partner Stephanie will be the voice as I guide you through this lesson. Section 9, Lighting. We'll start our scene with a ball on a flat plane. Let's render it to see how our final product will look. Oops, it's all dark. That's because we haven't added any lights yet. So we go to the create bar and add a directional light. This emits light in straight parallel lines in a specific direction, like sunlight. Much better. Now we can see our scene. Now we'll open the Arnold render view, which lets us see the results of our changes in real time. For example, let's move the light source around. We can also choose how dark our shadows are, or turn them off entirely. Next, let's see how light can reflect off of objects. We've added a reflective texture, and immediately our ball becomes shiny. By increasing the metalness and decreasing the roughness values, we can create a perfectly reflective surface, like a mirror. Another type of light is a spotlight. Spotlights produce cones of light that get dimmer at a distance, like a street lamp. We can choose the angle of the cone of light, the smoothness of the edge of the light, and many other values. Next up is the point light. A point light emits light in every direction equally, like a candle. We can also add a sky dome light, or a physical sky, to light our scene quickly with an outdoor look. The physical sky even has a nice blue sky and a sun. We can even turn our ball into a spherical light. Now let's put them all together and make a scene. Let's add some spotlights for street lamps and some point lights to act as city windows and distant car lights. And voila, our sphere now waits patiently for the bus on a foggy night in a fully lit scene. Now we're going to try lighting an existing scene from scratch. We'll open up our Arnold render view to see what our camera is seeing. And then we'll open our light editor, a full list of all the lights in our scene. Let's turn them all off so we can look at their effects individually. First, we have a spotlight acting as a foreground street lamp. And a dimmer one behind it. Powerful point light is positioned at the bottom of the skyscrapers to produce ominous shadows and a sense of scale. Next, we have a point light above the whole scene to act as our moonlight and illuminate anything out of reach of our other lights. As we just discussed, different shaders interact with light in different ways. The concrete walls are diffuse and do not reflect light. 
while the puddles are simply a flat plane with a very reflective shader. And the ground texture is a bit of both, more diffuse in the puddles, but a higher metalness value than the walls, making it appear wet.